Hey guys, welcome back to Creepy Castle. In this video, we're going to take care of what is probably the worst part of Creepy Castle. I've kind of neglected to mention this so far, but there is one glaring flaw with this level, and that is that two of the mini barrels that you have to do are beaver bother. And given that this is the last level in the game, they're actually a lot more difficult than the one in Frantic Factory was as well. Which means this video could be pretty long, I don't know yet. Really depends on how lucky I get. I'm just going to start out by killing all of these guys, I suppose. In fact, I think you need to do that to make the, make the switches appear or something. Yeah. I'm going to get this balloon first of all. It's two more bananas, damn. So, like, there's a bunch of switches on the wall, you need the sniper scope to hit them. I think you can avoid using the sniper scope if you use homing ammo, but I don't have any right now. And I already have the sniper scope, so who cares? Where's the other one? Oh, there should be another one over here. Hopefully that hit. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. And this makes the dreaded bonus barrel appear at the top of this current. This ear current. So yeah, I mentioned that there's two of them. This is the first one. The second one is this Chunky, which we're going to do at the very end of this video, or close to it. So, you know, excellent way to start a video, excellent way to end it. For some reason, you have to enter this drift as when you're in, like, baboon balloon mode, and then it takes them out of it right away, but that's the only way to actually reach the barrel. So let's just try and get this over with. I need to get 15 in the hole. Off to an excellent start. I mentioned before that the trick is to just mash really fast, that usually increases your chances. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you think a beaver is a lost cause if they have gone too far to the wall, it's probably a good idea to just move on to something else and just try and get another one instead. Come on dude, get in there. There are maybe many restarts of this in this video. But in keeping with the spirit of this playthrough, I'm not going to edit anything out. Instead, I'll just provide an annotation link for those of you who don't want to watch this crap. Which I would certainly be clicking if I was one of you. But apparently some people like to see me screw up. <laughs> and that's fine with me. I'm not going to give it the satisfaction of, like, winning here, so I'm just going to restart. I still have to get 7 in. Welcome to bonus day. I'm just going to try not to get too frustrated with it and just keep going. You know, it's a, mostly a luck-based game, unfortunately. So, I feel like I don't need to blame myself for when it goes badly. This one's going pretty well so far. I shouldn't say that. That's totally going to jinx it. Oh, he was in there. He was so in there. He was hugging the hole. Right, come on, you. Get in there. You as well. Nope, nope, in there. Again. Dude, get in there, stop trolling me. Nope. You also need to be careful that you don't fall in the hole yourself, because if that happens, you're dead. Nah, probably not gonna make this one. Three left that time, that's... A pretty significant improvement over 7 at least. Nope, nope, nope. Get in there. You get in there too. I hate it when they just go up against the wall. You're pretty much screwed if that happens, at least with those beavers. I mean, sometimes they just completely cooperate like they're doing right now. I can't believe this. I think this is the best luck I've ever seen on Beaver Bother, for me personally, at least. Right, as long as these guys aren't assholes, we might have this one in the bag. No, no, you're not going to do this to me. Okay, cool. Excellent. I really thought that was going to take more tries, but let's not get our hopes up just yet. There's still another one. Just to be a dick, the game doesn't let you reach this banana. You have to fall out of the air drift. 
and go all the way back up. Which also means you have to take damage, so it's like an extra dick move. But wow, it certainly is glad to have one of those out of the way. It certainly is glad, I certainly am glad. It certainly is good, is what I was trying to say. I'm really not very good at speaking these days. I have to take damage again, but that's fine with me. Because it means I can leave this horrible tower. So, I'm going to run back here. And let me see what's down here. Yep, this is the area that I was at the last time. And I want to go over here this time. And I'm going to just randomly fall down here. For no real reason. Oh wait, his blueprint guy is here. So I'll get him. And with that, I can head inside the other crypt that I haven't been in yet, which is down here. I pointed this out in the first video whenever I actually went inside though. I've already activated warp 1, so in here there's a bunch of bananas for everyone. I think literally everyone, if you count Chunky's Kisplat as well. So first thing I'm going to do is make a switch to Tiny. There's a large gap here that she has to cross. You actually can cross this as DK if you use a moon kick, but the problem is that you can't actually get back without killing yourself, which means you get put back at the start of the level, which is a huge waste of time. So this thing again, usual stuff whole minute of it. These guys are crying for help pretty pretty quick. Very, very greedy guys. That's bullshit. I totally pressed A there. I mean, I'm not concerned anyway. I'm not going to fail this. Unless my controller like, malfunctions or something. Can't believe it's only halfway done. This is probably the last time we'll have to play this one in the game now, though. Wish I could say the same about Beaver Bother. Or even that minecart game that I did in the last one, with uh, the two little explosive barrels. So there's going to be one more of those left as well. But the one that's left is a lot easier than the ones I've already done, because it's in Jungle Japes. Okay, cool. Excellent. So, what else do we have to do in here? First thing is grab this, I guess. So that's actually everything with Tiny. I did get her banana medal right, yep. So that is everything with her. I'm gonna switch back to Chunky now. He's got a lot of bananas on this path. I'll just pick them up since they're right here. And I'm going to enter the dungeon now. There's a couple of things for three of the Kongs in here. First thing I want to do as Chunky is head into each of the areas because there's a couple gates that need to be opened by him. Even though he really has no business in any of these places. Such so very lazy design, but we've all come to grow and love that now. Especially if you're watching this far in the playthrough. It's mostly stuff for Diddy Kong. Don't you dare. I didn't want to do that. I didn't realise the barrel was so close to me. This one's actually for Chunky. I guess he does have some stuff. Why have I still got the gun out? Okay, so... Well, almost got his banana medal. I never got those coins. What the hell? That's not like me at all. So, with that taken care of, I'm going to switch to DK because he has a puzzle, if you can call it that. Oh, well, actually, I will call it that because it is very, very difficult. Much like the one in Frantic Factory. Yeah, it's this thing again. Remember this? Same thing was in Fungi Forest, only you did it as chunky, and you did it with the gun, so I guess it is different. But we're just trying to make DK's face here. And there's no timer with this one either, which means it's like a lot easier actually. Not that the other one was difficult in any way. This one's just slower. I think that's the wrong one actually. That's that's the right one. <laughs> Looks so goofy right now. Dude, don't bother me. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> didn't realise I didn't have to touch that one in the top left. So, with that taken care of, I can run back outside and take care of some of the stuff as the other Kongs. I'll make a switch to Diddy right now, because now I can collect all of these bananas. Which should give me as much as I need. And Diddy also has a golden banana to get in here too. This is Lanky's area, I went to the wrong place, I am really special. Or oh, whatever, it's just over here then. And this is the place where Chunky had balloons, right? Yeah, it is. So in here is a pretty easy banana. You're supposed to, well you'll see in a second. These vines are going to raise up and the idea is that if you get any closer than you already are to the banana then I'll just show off but like it hides behind this thing. So the idea is that you're supposed to use the sniper scope and hit that switch, the peanut switch, and it causes these vines to come down and then you can just swing across. Alternatively you can just do a moon tail and not be bad at it. Come on Diddy. And you can just swing across like that. Doesn't really save any time, it just looks cooler. So that's everything with Diddy in this level, I believe. Yeah, I did get his Kisplat. I don't need that banana balloon, but I'm going to get it anyway, just because it's right there, I guess. This was probably a bad idea. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to get it. Because I already have 75 anyway, so who cares? So... Back up here. I'm looking for DK's room. Yeah, it's over here. Gonna switch out to Lanky because as we saw earlier when I went to the wrong room, Lanky also has a banana in here. So if I just open this, I can head inside and he also has a balloon which I'm gonna get. It looks kinda greenish. I always used to think that was one for Chunky but nope. I don't want to move until I have this. Okay, cool. So now I have his banana medal. Gotta play his instrument. And this makes a bunch of baboon balloon pads appear. Now, obviously you're supposed to carefully navigate this place. Make it to the bonus barrel. I'm gonna take a bit of a shortcut. Hopefully it'll work. It's a bit tricky to do, but if you stand on the very, very edge of this, just where you can just barely activate baboon balloon, and just hold straight up, you should be able to make it all the way to the end without having to stop at any of the other ones. Although I'm kinda moving all over the place right now... I did make it, okay cool. So Kremlin Kosh again, because we haven't had enough of this one. At least this one is pretty easy usually. Yeah, not a lot to say here. I mean, we've seen this game so many times by now that I don't feel like I have anything interesting to add about it anymore. If I even ever did. Wow, I'm... how is this happening? I'm like missing so many right now. Okay, cool. I was like a little bit worried right there, but it's all good. So that's everything with Lanky. We're pretty much close to the end of Castle already, which is kind of sad. Went by pretty quickly. I'm just going to hit this balloon because it's right there. It's not hard to get like Diddy's one was. And we get to see Lanky's funny death animation. Kind of. It's kind of off screen right there, but whatever. So with that taken care of, I'm going to stock up on ammo. And I'm going to switch back to Chunky because there's something else for him outside this place. 64 bananas, okay.
so I only actually need to get one more banana. So I'm not even going to bother collecting any of the other ones unless I get them by accident. But uh, yeah, it's just I'll just talk about this I guess. Candies is up here, we never actually need to go visit her again. Not really sure why they put her in here. I guess maybe if you missed her in caves somehow, you get the third watermelon from her here. This is Chunky's Kisplat. And just following the path, avoiding the bananas for no real reason. I'm going to head back outside and I'm going to perform one last glitch in the level. Which is everyone's favourite. It has more out of band swimming and of course more skew walking. But we'll see that in just a second. As you can see, or well maybe you can't see right now, but the tree is still it still has the bars over it, so like I can't actually get in unless I do the Babin Blast Course's DK, but of course that's a complete waste of my time. I'm not gonna do that. I could get those coins, but I mean who really needs them? I just need to swim until I find the skeleton guy. Here he is, and I need to be vertical. I've now been knocked out of there, and I am now skewed, which means I can walk through walls. Just gonna carefully navigate my way back to the tree. He looks completely ridiculous taking his little grass bath, and I'm just gonna walk right through it. So the final thing for Chunky to do is right in here. Just break this door down. I'm gonna shoot this balloon. No, I'm not. Now I'm gonna shoot it. No, I'm not. Okay, now I can probably get it. Eventually it'll appear. It's pretty fast, this balloon, actually. It takes a long time to get up here, but it moves really, really quick when it does come up. Come on, where is it? Maybe I'm not close enough. Well, anyway, it doesn't make... Yeah, you saw it just shooting past the camera right there. Ugh, oh, well, whatever. I'll get it when I'm down here. See, the thing is... You're supposed to use sniper scope to hit this switch from afar, but if you actually stand in here, it goes back to normal and you can just hit it from the back side. Really not sure how they missed that one, so you don't even need sniper scope at all actually in this game. It just makes a couple of things faster and easier. This one's not one of them. So I'm going to wait for this thing again. Wait, did it just... I don't know. Where is the damn thing? I'm starting to wish I just collected those bananas inside the crypt. Seriously, where is this balloon? I don't see it at all. I am totally just putting off going in that barrel. There it is. God damn it. Okay, what the... Okay, okay, finally. So I guess I can't put it off any longer, let's just head in and take care of the second round of hell. Fortunately I don't think this is any harder than the one I already did. Yeah, it's just 15, you've got a minute to do it, so let's just, let's just try and do it. Get in there, get in there, come on. Good beaver. You too. There's gotta be like a huge pit of beavers in there, it must be like <laughs> the most annoying thing in the world to get stuck down there. So I'm gonna have to be extra careful not to fall in this hole. Dude, get in the hole, Jesus. Ah, uh, 20 seconds, I don't think I'm gonna make this one. But I'll keep trying until it gets to the end anyway. Of course they're all going in now, of course, now that the timer is about to run out. Except for this kid. Okay, let's just restart. Once again, I'm not going to give it the satisfaction of forcing me to restart, I'm going to do it of my own free will. Oh, get in there, come on, you're just dying to go in. All your beaver buddies are already down there from the last game, go join them. Come on, dude. Nope, 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 nope. No way. 
No, oh, get in there. Come on, you're right next to it. Okay, excellent. Wow, I cannot believe how well both of those went, especially that one. It only took two tries. Like, I'm not exaggerating or pretending here when I say I really expected to be stuck there for a long time. But I'm happy that it went so well. Let's just confirm that I've got everything for everyone. Yep. 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 And yep. So that's everything for Creepy Castle finished, and they're going to exit the level. Which is kind of sad because, as, as I've mentioned before, this is my second favourite level after Fungi Forest, but... You know. Wow. That is bullshit, I got knocked over, he recovered, and on his recovery he fell into the the green lava. And I need him to actually move this rock for Lanky. Because Lanky has a really fun bonus barrel on top of this thing. Sure it's not a game we've seen before. Guess we'll find out what it is. In fact, I think I mentioned what it was in the last video, or two videos ago or something. Just have to make sure I don't get hit as I'm inflating myself, just like a balloon. Okay, let's see what it is. Wow, it's Searchlight Seek. This is what, you know, the 12th time I've done this game. It just keeps getting better. I'm sure glad they know how to, like, appeal to their fans. Alright, where's this third one? Where is he? There he is. No, oh, no, stop it. Behave yourself. Thank you. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. No. Oh. Dude, they're doing this thing where, like, they spawn way outside, like, way, way, way far from where the light thing is. Okay, this one's more like it. Three more, can I do it? Two more. One more. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's always worrying when it gets below 10 seconds left, but... I guess I'll grab these coins, because why not? Oh, I guess I didn't grab the coins yet. So one final thing to do in this lobby... Where, where am I right now? Yeah, I want to go this way. I'm going to switch to DK. Went the long way as usual. And I'm going to run around here and I'm going to open this door because even though Diddy's Splat is in there, we need DK to open the door. It's really annoying if you have homing ammo right there because all of it always hits the enemy instead of like the switch, but fortunately I don't have any. So everything's good. I can just do a death warp back to the entrance. Saves a little bit of time I suppose. And I'm going to make a switch to Tiny Kong. And I'm going to exit this place. And that's the last we're going to see of Creepy Castle. And this, for some reason, puts you here, at this part of the sky, instead of like coming out of the top of the Kremlin ship, where I went in. But, uh, yeah. That's gonna be it. Oh, okay, it puts you here. It still doesn't make sense, though, because I was over there, wasn't I? Well, anyway, that's it for this video. In the next video, we are not gonna go to Jungle Japes, as you might expect. Instead, we're gonna go to Hideout Helm, even though that's the last proper level, I suppose. Well, it's not really a proper level, but it's the last level. And I'm going to do that before I finish up Japes. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.